We have roughly 16,000 employees and we make these beautiful, beautiful jets. So you fly faster and higher than commercial air, um, but you also get fresh air in your cabin every two minutes. So who flies a lot commercially? You get sick often? Feel tired when you land? Not in one of these. So it's a transformative experience. What, once you fly in one, it, it really is amazing. So we are down our path on uh, innovation. We can actually project the um, logo, striping, colors, and in real time for the customer. So a, a paint job for an airplane is very, very expensive. We can change the program and you know, in a few minutes show them the new version of the aircraft. If you're a customer, you can put on this headset and have a fully immersive experience, feel like you're in your airplane. Uh, you can pick up the seats and say, no, I'd like them over here, and I can tap on the carpet. Uh, it, it's really an exciting world. The reason we've been successful in moving ahead with our innovation is we took two years and really focused on, we actually brought all of our infrastructure in-house. It had been outsourced. We built a private cloud environment, and we have a fully staffed engineering and architectural team. We do plenty in the cloud, but the production environment and the, and the engineering, we keep all in-house and we manage that. Make sure that you know, whether you do it in-house in or outsourced, make sure you know what you're doing or you will um, open your risk profile faster. When we want to do an innovative project, the first thing we ask is, can we secure it? Is it nimble enough? Is this something your people will want to do? Is it cost effective? I don't know if you guys have unlimited budgets, but this has to make sense financially. And the last one is safe to use. So we do the whole spectrum. We talk about augmented reality, fully immersive virtual reality, informed reality, where we use glass to provide instruction and checklist. There's something about humans and technology that we will lose our reason and just stand there. You can't do that in a manufacturing environment. You could have some significant life-threatening accidents. So when you think about how you do informed reality, it has to be where the um, person wearing the technology can operate in the real world and have this bit of information coming in to help out. Does anybody have less than 10 ideas for their organization right now around digital transformation? I mean, it, this is a long list, right? So you have to decide which ones am I gonna do first. If it makes total sense without a lot of drama, right? So if it makes sense to the people who care about margin and it makes sense to the customer, the customer's asking for it, our employees very quickly want to pick it up. If it at least makes sense to them, we know we have a winner and it moves up the priority list. Transparency is not an issue for the folks coming up. So I think um, that will be one of the biggest changes in how groups work together, whether it's suppliers, customers, um, regulators, and uh, the producer.